when I go to the theater, I will be sleeping. When I go to the theater, I will be paralyzed. So, I won't be able to breathe. When I come out of the theater, I will be in pain. So, this if, if these are some of the questions that you're asking yourself, kindly, this is the right video for you. I'll be explaining what happens intra-op or in the theater. So, stay tuned. My name is Anjika Ngare. I am a CNA lab technologist and aesthetic assistant based in Nairobi, Kenya. So, if you like my videos, kindly consider to like, share, and subscribe. Sawa sawa. Now, let us jump right Welcome into back. today's now video. Let us now discuss the elephant in the room, anesthesia. What do you understand by the term anesthesia? First, when you go to the theater, we have a team which comprises maybe of a surgeon. Mostly, they, there must be a surgeon. We have the anesthetist, the man who is responsible to control your pain, sleep, and what have you. Then we have the scrub tech, I'm the scrub nurse. We have the circulating nurse. We have the anesthetic assistant. That's where I come in. We have, you may have observers, students, etc. Now, when you go to the theater, the first question we were tackling is, will I be sleeping? No. You cannot be operated under normal sleep. We call it a coma, a reversible coma-like sleep, which will be drug-induced. During studies, there are some of the medication we are taught that is used to induce sleep-like situation. Sawa sawa. It is a coma-like sleep. Then, I will be paralyzed. I will not be able to breathe. The anesthetist is the one responsible now for you to breathe. They use something we call the paralytic agents, yes, which will paralyze you, so you won't be able to breathe. Now, that is where the anesthetist comes in. He will uh, he'll place the ETT tube or the endotracheal tube, which will assist you in breathing, it will be connected to the anesthetic machine, which will assist you during breathing. Sawa sawa. Then this anesthetist will be monitoring your vital signs in the monitor. Uh, will be monitor monitoring your vital signs so that he ensures nothing goes wrong. Then the third question was pain. Pain management is very crucial. So the anesthetist also is responsible for you not to feel pain or to feel not to feel any discomfort there are some pain medication that you're usually given for example you have diclofenac dinapa we have morphine pethidine all those are medications that are used to cover pain so when i am asked what is anesthesia i will say it is a reversible coma like sleep during surgery sawa sawa and the person responsible is the anesthetist or the anesthesiologist. Sawa sawa. It's a coma-like sleep which is drug-induced. And the person responsible is the anesthetist. Sawa sawa. Until next time, as we discuss the history of anesthesia. Adios.